and the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Now imagine this is the White House. And then they say stories that first develop here then percolate into the Wall Street Journal, Washington Times, New York Post, and then from there percolate into the controlled, total controlled press. And the, these operations are controlled pretty much now. Washington Times does some good work. So does the Wall Street Journal, but not as much. New York Post does some good stuff. The point is, is that you can see the strata, and they talk about how then it flows out of alternative media that was alternative. In its embryonic phase, Clinton wanted to abort it with audits and harassment and all and demonization. And then it percolates into the Wall Street Journal and others. And then they say into the Washington Post and other publications and then into the New York Times. And they go on in here. You ought to go read it for yourself. It's up on Infowars.com to actually say they then can't control all the info. And it gives the general public a voice. Oh, you cannot have any alternative. You can't have talk radio. They're trying to bring back in the Fairness Doctrine or, or my show would be banned. They're trying to bring all of this in. In fact, quoting from the document, this is how the stream works. Firstly, well-funded right-wing think tanks and individuals underwrite conservative newsletters. That's not true. No one is underwriting us. And newspapers such as the Western Journalism Center. No, they, they funded that with uh, donations and with people buying the newsletter, I happen to know. The American Spectator and the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Next, the stories are reposted on the Internet where they are bounced all over the world from the Internet. The stories are uh, bounced into the mainstream media through one of two ways. One, the story will be picked up by the British tabloids and covered as a major story from which the American right off the center mainstream media, Wall Street Journal, Washington Times, and New York Post, will then pick up the story. Two, the story will be bounced directly from the Internet to the right of center mainstream American media. After the mainstream right of center American media covers the story, congressional committees will look into the story. Oh, don't look into Cattlegate or the murders or the missile secrets. After Congress looks into the story, the story now has the legitimacy to be covered by the remainder of the American mainstream press as a real story. Now, let's stop right there. What do they say on CNN and MSNBC? Oh my gosh, Alex Jones says there's drones. Alex Jones says Fast and Furious is staged to get the guns. Alex Jones says there's billions of bullets. None of it's true. He's insane. But look at this Republican congressman. They're having hearings on it. Meanwhile, they bought all the bullets. See how they do that. Meanwhile, they did stage Fast and Furious, CBS News had to admit, because we already broke the information. And again, who can really run their blockade every time is DrudgeReport.com. It's very hard for us, but we're still able to do it now, break through directly and really have them freak out. But when it goes on Drudge, it assuredly breaks out, and that's, that's why they're so upset. But now more and more, there's other alternative media, and people understand the paradigm now, and they're decompartmentalized. But when you read these memos, it's exactly how the media is run today. It says, we've got to call it conspiracy theories. They go on to say, anything coming out on the Internet, we need to call it conspiracy theories. Even if it's documented, we just call it a conspiracy theory and say it isn't mainstream. It was the Clintons that wrote up the term mainstream media, alternative media. And when we adopt the idea that we're the alternative media and they're the mainstream media, no, they're the dinosaur Decepticon, globalist, corporate, federal reserve, anti-liberty, anti-family, the authors of our discontent, they're the bad guys. I mean, look at them, the liars, caught lying, caught cheating, taxpayer funded, bailout funded, stimulus money funded, and their ratings are in the toilet now, too. So you, you, you are the small media. You're the vestigial media. You're the imploded kleptocrat media. And in the memos, in, in the memo, they've got emails. They've got examples. Put, put that Drudge uh, article back up, and I'll cover that. Drudge Report archives, special reports. Shareware, Clinton to offer new missile defense tech to Russia, China. See, that's the type of thing that they're freaking out on the Clinton files about, is that Clinton would dare give missile secrets to China. And see, now, we always knew they didn't like Drudge breaking that. So now, you know, now we have the documents, see? They don't want their treason, their sedition, their criminality being exposed. And now they want to call us terrorists 
and they want to use the NDAA on us, and they want to arrest us, and they want to say I'm in the Boston bombing, and I'm deeply racist, because they think their audience is so dumb, and they're desperate. Why? Because we know who they are, criminals. Putting out the propaganda to counter groups like Media Bypass. Tell me you won't go. It's absolutely incredible. We already know all this, but this document at the Clinton Library, and we got less than 30 pages of it, of 300 plus, here's the index for TV viewers. I'm going to read it for radio listeners. Communication stream of conspiracy commerce. Right-wing publications, Western Journalism Center, Joseph Farrell, World Net Daily Today. Media Bypass. Now, look at that. Media Bypass. I started writing for Media Bypass in 1996, and it only had a circulation, I think, of like 100,000. But I wrote articles. They contacted me. They were looking for fighters. I need to get the head of Media Bypass on. I mean, they got audited. They got harassed. They got 60 Minutes pieces against them just for putting out stuff that's pretty milk toast today. And I remember talking to the head of Media Bypass. I mean, these guys were like, we got to defeat them. You know, they're, 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 they're taking people's houses. I mean, these are like real people, folks. And, and it's got to feel good for all these old guys uh, who were doing this in the 80s, back when talk radio was banned in the so-called free country, to have literally expose everything. And they go on to say, what are they exposing? This is in Section 7. Look at this. The Internet influence. This is what they want stopped. Number one, Watergate Vince Foster homepage. Imagine back then there might have been a dozen websites fighting them. And then they influenced people like the young Drudge in 1993, who started his website in 94, 95, 96. First it was email, who then became the phenomenon. And then see, now we're influencing other people as well. And Drudge influenced me. I, could, I mean, I would go to a bunch of websites every day to look for news and stuff to cover on the radio, but I would go to Drudge, number one. And then that inspired me to have a website where I could post links my site was first like Drudge because I wanted to post links so I could show listeners when I made a claim about a bill or photos I'd taken. Back then, mainstream media would just lie. They were mainstream media still then. And they would just say, there is no UN takeover of the parks. Well, I would post the executive order. I would go, you know, post photos of them threatening to arrest me for asking questions at the Grand Canyon. And then I'd spend the rest of my time trying to pay a $20,000 bandwidth bill because, you know, a half million people would visit my website in a month to look at those photos. I mean, I got into this when there was hardly anybody doing it. That's why I went through so much hell. The harassment, the cars following me, the audits, guys beating me up in parking lots. Uh, I mean, back in the day, folks, back in like 1996, I was kind of second wave. There was first wave, second wave. I would say Drudge was the end of the first wave. I was the beginning of the second wave. We're now into fourth wave. There's been third wave by the mid-2000s. Now we're going to fourth wave. Fifth wave starting to start. And fifth wave is so big, the enemy is just absolutely crapping their pants right now. <laughs> what are you going to dispatch? Uh, mercenaries to beat everybody up in the parking lot or threaten their families? There's too many of us now. You can't blow stuff up and blame us because, you know, our people are everywhere. Our people are everywhere. And they're symbiotic. They're independent. They're not directed by a central system. You can't track them. And they don't care if you track them. They're willing to lock and load and walk with their guns down at your guns pointed at them saying, go ahead and shoot us. And that courage freaks you out because other people see that courage. And if you would have killed them, it would have been Alamo Part 2. It would have been... Lexington part two, right there. And believe me, I didn't even want that to happen. I want to fix this peacefully. But if you want a war to start, if you chicken net pieces of traitorous crap at the White House and all of you think you had a problem with a few websites like Joseph Farah and Media Bypass 20 years ago, what do you think is going to happen when you try to crush us this time? You're going to legitimize us. You're going to lionize us. You're going to give us martyrdom. And again, I'm not looking for that. I don't think I get 40 virgins or whatever it is. What I get is a free future for my family and your family. And what I get is not letting bug-eyed, chicken-necked, cowardly, parasitic, criminal, degenerate, lying, anti-human trash run this planet. You people better get out of our way. Do you understand that scum? 
We're on the march. The 